I got whack 100 calling me, man. Whack. Whack. I'm on stream. Be quiet. Listen, bro. I'm on stream. That's cool, but listen, bro. Listen. What? Motherfucker. My man just told me that this finalized. You remember the We Tip commercial by Tip? Yeah. Yo. You remember Tip got the key vases going on with the situation with the military lady saying put the whole foot in the situation, right? But word is the we tip commercial got some involvement in the Diddy No Diddy. Stop. Now, <laughs> Stop. Mills is panicking right now because it's text messages saying, yo, did you burn or get rid of those photos and videos? I don't know what photos and videos, maybe it's behind the scenes. Big Bill's got a bunch of videos, you know what I'm saying? You know, these niggas sending out season decisions, but I know how to season decisions and season decisions. But this shit is getting weird out here. You tell I, me, yeah. you tell me that they might go uh -huh. holler at Meek Mill because Meek Mill, like, we see the matching outfits. I, I heard there's a whole different set to it. I heard there's a whole wardrobe. Listen. Listen, bro. You see what I put up March 15th? Everybody thought I was capping. Whack 100's March 15th post says, Diddy, I smell the feds coming. You ain't say that. If New York charge, go look at it. March 15th. You ain't say that. Like, it's, stop lying. March 15th. Go see, act. I'm smarter than you, act. March 15th. Go look at it. Whack 100 Instagram. I can't. Hold on, I'm, I'm I'm on your Instagram right now. I'm gonna go to Mark. Go look at it, March 15th. Picture of Diddy and the other nigga, Aaron Hall, whatever the nigga name is, and read the caption. Act. Hold on, I'm on March 15th. It says, "I smell the feds coming." New York State would be a gift to these two. This is how they got R. Kelly. Federal law off the land is 18, regardless of state law. Pay attention. It only gets worse from here. Our moguls are falling by the grace of their own decisions. You ain't you ain't know that, Whack. No way. You, you... Bro, act is right there. What that? One thing you, you know, I think outside the box. I seen it coming. The minute they amended that shit. Now, you got to remember, Cassie waited until she got her bag. Once she got her bag, bro. It's only one motherfucker that know the history of all them houses. That lady from 1991 don't know about those houses. They didn't exist. The kit of all them houses is because there's shit in there that only one person can talk about. Cassie. You don't That's think... It, you don't think Cass... No, Cass... No way. She That's got a fact. No way. She got her back. Now she pissing him off. If the fans come question her, she has to talk, bro. So, I mean, she don't have to talk, but she can. So whatever they made her sign for the, you know, civil shit, that shit don't supersede the feds. And these niggas that do this sexual shit, and I'm going to be real for the record, just, you know, if a nigga freaky, he's freaky. Everybody's freakier than the next motherfucker, but other motherfuckers less freakier than you, right? Wait, wait, hold on. That's right. what I was going to ask you. So, listen. This is the music game. A lot of these niggas, they, 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 they get numb to regular it's sex, so they all get a little act. freaky. Do you think Diddy was into some illegal non-freaky shit? Or some illegal freaky There's shit? two things we got to worry about. What? Three things. Underage, which includes minors, which I don't, I hope he didn't do. Um, illegal immigrants. Cause they got this whole ring. You watch the movie where these real wealthy, super rich people, they bring in illegal immigrants. You know what I'm saying? The party, right? And three, I hope the role play was not that realistic that on tape is looking like you forcing somebody to do something. Oh. Those are three things you got to worry about. Hey, I talked to somebody who said, it looks like there might be taking an approach that might be similar to R. Kelly. And I said, no, Diddy and R. Kelly, and they're, they're not the same. Oh, like, I said it. What the fuck did I just say on the post, Act? You never want to give me my credit. Listen, let me educate y'all because you know I've been talking to R. Kelly 
every week for the last year. You know this. R. Kelly educated me on this. Just like the state of California that has legal weed state, legal places you can buy weed statewide. The feds, if they want to, to could go take all those owners to jail. Because under federal law, weed is illegal, is not legal yet. Okay. State of New Jersey, 16. State of New York, 17. Illinois, 17. Right? Legal agents consent. State. Federal law. The law of the land is 18. So whenever they want to, they can step in and say, you had sex with a 17-year-old? Yeah, okay. You violated federal law. That's how they got R. Kelly in the feds. Read what my post said, bro. Wait, wait, hold Legal on. Legal age of consent, federal of the law of the United States of America is 18 years old. Wait, we wait. don't give a fuck what the state says, bro. I'm telling you right now. Wait, wait, bro. wait. Put me on gate. Wait, why is R. Kelly locked up? Like, you know, like, like. This is why R. Kelly's locked up. Illinois was 17, right? Boom. They couldn't hit him with that. Remember, the state of Illinois dropped it because the girl was 17, right? Okay. Now. R. Kelly was under the impression the girl was 18 years old. He didn't know she was 17, mm, right? Okay. He didn't find out until later on, and that's when he cut her loose. But when she was 17, he has uh, he's crossing state lines and shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Now, that's where the motherfucking traffic and shit comes into it. So let's say you taking a sprinter, fuck it, we going in the, you know, Ohio or some shit or whatever the fuck, we take it a sprinter. You take your chick, she's 17, you cross that state line, bro, and you got the trafficking. But federally, federally, they charge them in the feds because the age of consent is 18 years old, any state up on the United States of America. Yo, but, but whack, I'm going to be honest with you, I think Diddy too. Your state is 16, act. Yo, yo, but 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 Diddy too powerful to get caught up in that. Like, yo, hold on, hold on, be honest, be honest. The United States of America, the government, the no, no, you're right. Hold on, you're right. But 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 when when they got when they got Kelly, Kelly didn't have the power that Diddy got. Diddy is what power does he? All he has is money. Bill got money, nigga. Bill still went. What he better do is what R. Kelly did and hire Bill Cosby's attorney. That's why R coming back on the appeal. He got Bill Cosby attorney, right? Same situation right now, bro, is that this shit's like 34, 35 years old, right? Now, I know I do know this. They are not raiding those places looking for any type of proof that has anything to do with this case in 1990, 1991. They are raiding those places based off some shit that Cassie, a woman that was with that dude 15, 16 years, then told him, these niggas be having these saves and secret walls, and these niggas like to keep shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, act, I front, you I think? I front act. I got videos banging my banging my, my chick out from the back. Act, I got them. I turned them on, bro. Uh, so you think we all got videos, act. You got videos with your chick, act. So, so you think Diddy got the freak off? No, hey, and, no. you just trying to duck that act? What? Are you going to cop to it? No, 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 no. Of course. I always got... I, of course. Listen. Okay, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Now, now, what you Hold say, on. But, but, but Diddy wouldn't record no damn freak off. Come on now. Not, not, come crazy, on. Bro. No, he wouldn't. Cassie said, Stop it. Watch this, bro. Let me tell y'all Cassie got the money, act. Follow me. Talk you are me. a very intelligent man. Follow me. This is how Cassie got the money. Cassie came out and said, yes, I would order the male prostitutes, the strippers. They would come. We would have sex. And Diddy would be naked filming us. You recall that? Did he say filming or just watching? Filming. Did you recall that? Now, look. Right there is where the extortion started. I'm going to tell you why, Act. She stopped it there. You know what Diddy knew she could, could continue to say? And then after... I was done with the male prostitute. Diddy would go over there with them. <laughs> no. Whack, whack, whack. This is a fact, bro. Bro, <laughs> she said, okay, act, act, watch this. Let's say I did a bank ro a robbery, right? And, and me, you, and the homie that be your editor was involved, right? Yeah. And I come up and I say, yeah, 
It's the robberies went on, and let's say I'm in jail, right? It's the robberies went on that I can speak on, you know? We drove a certain color, a blue car, you know? Motherfuckers was driving. They know who they are. They need to holler at me. Act, hey, you know you was the driver. And I'll stop right there. You going to contact somebody and say, what that nigga wrong with? No, no, no. No, no you're right. You're right. Oh, no, no. Diddy was running over there. Yo, no. Yo, what? Hear what I'm saying, though. Diddy been in hot water for the last... Yo, he been in hot water for the last six months. If he, if you don't think he deleted everything, he done spent... He didn't. I'm going to tell you why. No way. For the very reason why you just said what you said. Diddy is powerful. He let the money go to his head, bro. He don't listen to nobody around him, bro. He think he bigger than the program. He think he's slick. He probably, Cassie been gone five years, bro. Whatever she knew about, whatever face, whatever, whatever, all that shit should have been over with. Not to say she ain't gave him some shit. Don't think she left her body there, nigga, without some shit. Them feds are not finna kick in the dough on three motherfucking matches at the same time if they don't have some shit. I'm gonna be honest, now, I was that, I was shocked today. I thought it was a lie. The sad part, no, I, I told you they was coming. I, bro, the minute they admitted it, she said she was 16 years old and they gave me liquor in the state of New York and ran a train on me. I knew they was coming. Now, the sad part about it is fathers. Never be a homeboy to your children. Mothers, never be a homeboy to your daughters. Okay? Listen. You seen them boys in cuffs? Listen. Remember the other accusation. They laced the liquor. The producer said Diddy's sons assist him in lacing liquor and giving it to everybody. They know that piece or at best or worst, force Diddy into standing on it. But what they don't know, and 50 know this, Diddy don't give a fuck. They gonna have to stand by themselves. Wait, 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 wait. what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Only two people we may fall for, and that's them little girls. Them boys, oh, he gonna make them ride it out. Bro, the nigga, this nigga, Lil Rob, whatever this nigga name is, said, and it's other people that have said, Diddy and his kids are in cahoots with lacing the liquor. He is in the go look at the complaint. Man. Now we know it's been transgender activity. This we do know. Shout out to the Tronics Network. Y'all tune in and subscribe. We launched today. It's been some transgender activity. We know this. Act, I'll send you the content. Right, whack. I'm gonna be honest with you. Whack. I'm gonna be honest with you. Hey, hey, whack. Fuck. Hey, what's up? Yo, whack. I know you always trying to bet some money, and I might be down to bet some money. I don't think there is no. Are you telling me? You telling me? No way. No. How did he gonna end up in a goddamn? He ain't ended up in cuffs. Okay, watch this. No way. No how. Look, he's on a jet already, headed to where he had it. They know where he's going. Right, I I, he I like, heard they met him he there don't too. Bell out. Listen, he might not bail out because his fans. Why nah. the fuck is Keith D son calling me right now? Is this what the fuck? He gotta wait. Uh, listen, Diddy is not Diddy, going to jail. Or did he go to jail? Diddy is bigger than the program. I'm telling you, Diddy is not bigger than the federal. government. No, he's That's bigger. Not. He's bigger than. No, no, I'm not saying the government. He's bigger than the program. If he was bigger than the program, why did little old Cassie take him down? Shit. And I got a bone to pick with you, act. Stop fucking with young Miami. You trolling her, bro. It ain't no truth for that shit you talking about. What, you trolling her. Wait, we got to get her aside. We got to no, get her aside, no though. Side. Wait. Hold on. Ain't no side. Look. Her and Diddy was business partners. They were associates. No. Nothing exclusive she said he peed in her bro. mouth. Nah, dude, you Hold can't on, do that. Listen, bro. You can't do that. Bro, she said he this peed in her not. mouth. They weren't business partners? Yeah, they were business partners, and oh, he okay, peed in her mouth. You're telling me they wasn't a... Look, 
Then they had a baby. Hold on, yo, yo, hold on, whack, 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 hold on, whack, whack, whack. This is our catchy right here because this is how shit go wrong. When your business part, because pull like this, Diddy and Cassie were business partners, but then no, they were a couple. Did you read the they lawsuit? Wait, no, 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 no. I whack. I'm being you now. Did you read the lawsuit? She said, she said the C. Day. She called him a business partner that would use his influence to get engaged with her sexually and to coerce her. We all watch Diddy paint that female from that other artist. She lived with that dude 14, 15 years, right? They were a couple. We all know this. That's Cap. So wait, if so wait. If it wasn't a couple, it wouldn't have said Cassie cheats on Diddy with trainer if oh. it wasn't a couple. Okay, so, 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 whack. You trying to tell me that. <laughs> you trying young to tell Miami, me. Hold uh, on. You trying to tell me Young Miami didn't say that Diddy be peeing in her, in her mouth? This is what I'm saying. No, no, no. Hold on. Are you trying to say that? I'm talking to whack 100. We have this we have the way. content. I'm saying that Young <laughs> Miami was not exclusive and privy to that shit. Hold on, whack, whack. I didn't say she was. Whack. I didn't say she was. Whack, whack. I didn't say she was. But if you think about the allegations in in, in the in the civil lawsuit and why the feds coming in, you think the feds ain't gonna question somebody who was saying that. Hey, he was peeing in my There's mouth. Nothing to question young Miami about. Yes. He never made any accusations. What, what, what? You Even don't. With what you're saying. They got to question her in her case real. it wasn't consensual because she's only came out and said what he did. She never said, I requested it. Bro, check this out. Motherfucker, are you asking permission? To freak your woman when you freaking your woman. Okay, babe. Up next, I want to. Whack! This. You just up said next, he, he, she wasn't his here. woman. Okay, babe. Can I do this next? Whack! Oh, you God. just told me she wasn't his woman and that he had a baby on her. So who knows if she was in cahoots? Well, hold on. This is what I do know. Right? She got some respect for herself. She grown. I don't she know. She does what she wants to do. Hold on. She does what she wants to do. And let me top it off with this. That's what Let's that's what Diddy thought like, about Cassie. Hey, yo. Hey, young Miami ain't no bum bitch, bro. She got a support system around her, bro. It's the she same with Cassie. UC. No, it's the same with no, Cassie. No, no. Just, no she so. was out there in the water by herself. She had to be there. Young Miami has a support. She's successful. QC is there. Her family is still there. Her baby daddy is still there. Two total different situations. No, bro. no, no. Whack, you you're not reading it. the situation right. You told yeah. me because, come on. No, no, no. JT, JT is about music. Young Miami is about escorting. Let's be honest. JT That's is promoting a tour. Know, bro. That's a false accusation. Young Miami has never been arrested or never been accused of doing no escort shit. If she wishes and chooses to go out and accompany somebody that's of legal age, Bro, that's her yeah. fucking right. Yo, Wack, you, you gonna be the best of her. Yo, Wack, so let me ask you a question. She said, she said, me and Diddy, we go together real bad. The next week we saw Diddy have a baby with another woman. What would you call that? I'm calling that, that's an associate. You call her a side chick. She was a side chick. She was a side chick. exclusive, bro. So she was a side chick. She has a right to date. And not be fucking exclusive to anybody. If men could do it, you know what's crazy? When men do it, you like, oh, I'm just, you know, I'm doing me. So when a woman wants to do it, all of a sudden, it's a double standard. Get the fuck out of here, Whack, bro. you if know she was in the free call. That she's dating, he's dating. Then a woman could also date somebody and not be tied down, bro. Whack. Have her fun, bro. Whack, you know she was in the freak off, man. Come on. Yo, Whack. Whack, whack. Don't nobody know. This is what we do know. She is a city girl. Whack, whack. Right? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Hold on, bro. Those police you see girl. surrounding the property, they didn't only surround it in L.A. and New York. They surrounded it on Star Island. There's bad city. Okay, that ain't the first or the last, right? Bro, how do you know that young Miami just wasn't stroking his ego? 
Why? Come on. Why? How you know, bro? She's a beautiful woman, bro. She's talented. She has a name. Whack. This is where I'm going to get mad at you for, though. I'm going to tell you I'm going to get mad why at you. You, you know, I love you. Me. I'm going to tell you why. As long as you don't no, headbutt me, No, no. no I'm going to tell you I'm going to get mad at you. I'm going to tell you I'm going to get mad at you. So, <laughs> so you telling me you okay with Young Miami turning her back on Diddy at the moment she need him? You know what You know what Diddy need right now? He need a personal testimony from somebody who been with him to say, hey, I've been with that nigga. One thing for sure, two things for certain. He don't do nothing against somebody. Will I could test? I could testify to it. Anything me and him ever did was consensual. Everything I ever see him do was Act, on the up and up. Anything y'all ever did? What you did with Diddy? Nigga, see you what trying to switch it up. I heard that shit. No, I'm talking right, about now. No, young, get to young Miami. I'm not gonna spin. Why, she not, I'm gonna Why she, she not doing it? Why she not doing it? Why she not doing it? Hold on, let me answer it, bro. Go ahead. You said she's turning her back on Diddy, right? She did. I, he bought her a house and a Maybach. Let me, know. let me tell you what I do know. And these are brownie points and a salute to Diddy. Let me tell you what I do know. I do know that Diddy had enough respect for that young lady and her career to tell her this is not for you and I want you to go your way. Right? You see she went to BET. You didn't see Diddy stop trying to stop that. Diddy, with his own free will, right, looked out for that sister and said, look, I got shit going on that has nothing to do with you. It's best that you disassociate. So she didn't turn her back. Then he just looked out for that young sister, bro, and did what was right. Yo, Wack, I ain't gonna lie. This is why I always tell people, if y'all in trouble, if your friend is not Wack 100, you in deep shit. What do you Wack, need, friend, bro? Wack, you know I'm damn well. Miami Stop it. You times. know damn well. You know damn well, young Miami basically was talking all that shit told my she with him yo she was she was dissing other women hold on, hold on. she was dissing other women hold on yo whack 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 you want to bet you want to bet two thousand dollars just for fun i guarantee one of them people that the feds done talk to is that girl gina there's a girl gina that was used on and off she was beefing young miami at that point young miami tweeted at her and said bitch you know I could have Diddy have you on all fours eating my pussy. That's what, that's what, uh, uh, um. There's nothing wrong with that. Is she illegal? No, well, it would be illegal if Diddy it's is forcing wrong. her. If Diddy is no, forcing no, that no, woman to do it. You know what it is, Act? What? You ain't lived a good life, Act. Oh, you, oh man. Act. <laughs> if no. a female was willing to participate, right, and fellatio with another woman, and they're both of legal age to consent. She and said, I'm going to make man, Diddy make you. Hold on. Stop it. Whack. You spinning. She said, I'm going to make Diddy make you do that, not give you a choice. I'm going to tell Diddy to make you do it. No, Whack. Whack. Have you ever been to, been to the green door in Las Vegas? They asked you. What? Do you want to be arrested? Do you want a robber to break it? It's role play. Wait, what door? The Miami green door? Not gonna, she's not going to be involved with nothing illegal that has nothing to do with sexual acts because she doesn't have to. Anything she desires, she can get that the right way. Whack, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm so surprised by you. I can't believe your co-sign in Young Miami turned her back on Diddy. Diddy's about it. the two C. What's up? What you talking about, bro? D D Diddy is going through the hardest time of his life, and a girl he bought. And a I salute Diddy. I salute Diddy for saying this young lady, this young beautiful talented lady, should not be, should not be, have to deal with this shit. N and to tell her I love you, it's been nice. That's fake. But as a man, as a man. I have to tell you to disassociate yourself from me because I got things going on in my life that have nothing to do with you. Whack, you whack, if whack. If Young Miami respected him, you can't put that on Whack, her, that's bro. fake because she was How the one. How do you one... think her show got over the BET? Yo, she was the. Did he fight it? Hold on. She was the one running around this bitch talking about act bad, act bad, act bad, act bad. As soon as some bad What's shit happened, bad? she left. She left. She left. Yo, you know what they showed What's on the news? Bad, Did, no, no, no. Yo, whack. We was live streaming it. 
You know what they showed on the news? They put What's Justin that? Combs and King Combs in cuffs. Salute to his sons. Okay, listen. But they also said, they also said, Lil Rob said that allegedly the kids a, a kids help Diddy do shit, bro. He but allegedly that, bro. also said that Young Miami's cousin took his dick out and sucked it. So basically, he implicated Young Miami too. I know you love Young Miami, but put it like this. They need to go search her crib too. She might have like a pink dildo and a Diddy butt plug in there. We don't know. <laughs> My phone died. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I'm, 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 I'm. Hey, Wack, I didn't hang up on you. Uh, my phone. I'll call Wack back real quick. Yo, that nigga showing up. Fuck Kai. Nigga Kai had me going for a second, bro. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, man. Where Wack number at? Yo, Chad, tell me your biggest fear. Biggest fear isn't like a picture of your dick leaking or like a picture of you fucking or a video of you fucking leaking. It's like a video of you fucking, but you're not putting in no work. Or a picture of your dick leaking and like your shit don't look the way it should look. Now, if your shit look the way it should look or you hard as fuck and blah, blah, blah. Like, man, y'all yeah, niggas should see what I be, you know what I mean? Anyway, let me call Wack real quick. Here we go. Yo, Wack, they tell me that they tell me that Diddy is in, in Antigua, man. What's going on? No, did you see the play? <laughs> What's the play? What's the play? Tell me. Now, me and you both know, right? Yeah. When you move your jet, right? Yeah. When you move your jet, you have to assign the name that's going to be on the jet, right? Yeah. Okay. They force... Diddy's jet to land, right? Did they? The only reason why they forced the jet to land because he's registered to be on the jet, right? Now watch this. When they landed the jet, the nigga wasn't there. Oh. He's making a act. He look. I'm gonna send you this. Check the text. Look, they forced the jet to land. When they landed the jet, he was not on there. The only reason why. They're going to force that jet to land as if he's registered on the motherfucking jet. Yeah, so he must have been on the manifest. Yeah, of course, but you know that's intentional. You, wait, now, wait. Now, Diddy's kids is in handcuffs. Diddy ain't pulled up on none of the cribs. Ain't said nothing. And the nigga had himself on the jet to throw the feds off to make them think he was headed one way. That nigga headed another. Nah, did, did, it's no way Diddy Diddy gonna be trying to run. Like Diddy got Bro, too much. Bro, they already forced the jet. Look at your text. They forced the jet to land. He wasn't on the jet. You know, like I know, act when you book the jet, you gotta turn in the name of the people that's gonna be on the jet. Everybody gotta be accounted for. So when they seen that jet moving, his name was registered on that jet. They forced the jet to land. Nobody's on the jet. He wasn't on the jet. Just some women. Yeah, but but whack. You know you know which one of the women was on the jet? I, I don't know. I know he what fuck. It don't matter. Hold on, young Miami best friend was on the jet. Yeah, listen, doesn't matter, right? They're not exclusive. You keep trying to run a young Miami there. Young Miami don't give a fuck. That's his girl Diddy right now, it. and they investigating him for shit to do with girls. Listen, is she on age? Nah, nah. I ain't say she. She ain't complain hey, well, yet. I mean, well. Yeah, the day she ain't at the age, what difference do it make? If he fucking her, he fucking her. If he not, he not. Whack, we gonna have to get the paperwork. Her name might be in the paperwork. Yeah, but first of all, we can't get the paperwork right now. We're showing the nigga Diddy is on the move, bro. Diddy's not running. <laughs> whack, whack, Diddy's not running, bro. Bro, bro, listen to me, bro. Diddy, listen no, no, no. Me. Whack, whack, if you, got, if, if you got $500 million, are place. you running? Bro, his name was Hell Yeah. Why would you run? You can't run. Let me explain something to you. All he got to do is get over there to one of them countries, bro, where they ain't got no motherfucking ex extradition um, treaty with us. And you motherfucking right. Russell did it. Yeah, but I think, 
Russ will beat everybody to the punch. Like before the exactly. In- okay, you think Diddy ain't thought about it? All this shit is involving a bitch and some sexual shit. Well, he can't beat people to the punch when the punch already here. I don't know, bro. Because guess what? For Diddy to put that jet up in the air, put his name on the manifest as if he's on the jet, he had to know the police was coming in the morning. He ain't in none of the houses, and he ain't on the jet. I heard he's with law enforcement in in, in New York. I heard I heard he landed nope. there. Him and his lawyers is you know what I mean they sorting it out. I don't know if that's the case. They're gonna say that. But what I do know is, Diddy name was on that manifest as he he was on his jet, and he wasn't on the jet. So what that's would what, 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 what would you do? What would WAC one hundred do? If it's all coming down crashing, by the way, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I felt bad for the kids. Been, I felt bad I for the kids watching gave, them in cuffs. I would have been gave some type of custody, something to somebody for my daughters. The grown kids, nigga, you got to fit for yourself. You knew the job was dangerous when you took it. Mm. I'm out. He can't take them where he going. They dumb ass is going to go live or do some dumb shit. Yeah, but but Diddy Diddy's too much of a public face to be on some, yo. I'm gonna be in the yoga gym in Bali. Like, come on, man. Bro, when you Bali, you can't extradite from Bali, bro. And and they can't come get him. You, you think Diddy should be that scared of like what they're gonna do to him? Like, I think whatever they Diddy got will, him, he could be. Diddy will commit suicide, bro. He's not doing no time. Get to telling that nigga, bro. They gave R. Kelly 25, 30 years, my nigga. Diddy ain't going for that. Did he fifty something? Yeah, they did get out of here a while, man. Years. Yeah, come on, bro. He ain't that nigga. Ain't built like that, bro. He ain't built for that shit. That's Diddy, my nigga. He's the nigga that's all in the videos dancing. That's Diddy, nigga. Some shit. Yo, I heard Suge Knight recently was like, yo. He said Diddy should be here in jail with me. That's what he said. Why he say that? He's a bitch ass nigga. Cause you ain't supposed to wish jail on, on no nobody. He's a bitch ass nigga. That's a bitch ass nigga shit. I I thought you were sure was like locked in. What happened? I wouldn't give a fuck if you wish jail on somebody. I'm gonna call you a bitch ass nigga. I don't wish jail on my enemies, bro. Mm. Yeah, no, no, no. That's what he had said about Diddy. I, I think he was saying that. Yeah, that's because Yo, a lot of people felt like Diddy did mad shit and got away with it. That's why I'm, I'm watching I mean, out. Well, nigga, for me to for hey. For me to have a problem with that, then I'll be a hypocrite, right? Mm. And if you any form of a street nigga with that shit come out your mouth, then use a very use a weirdo hypocrite. I'm I'm wondering if any rappers are gonna say free Diddy if he ever get locked up, because they see uh, they say free everybody else. Ain't nobody stood with Diddy because of the the the, the gay shit, and don't know male rappers want to be tied up in that. You see the scrutiny Meek Mills on it. Because he let the nigga call him daddy and rub on his shoulders and, you know, all that type of shit he had going on over there. You know, twiddling toes and batting his eyes. But, you know, he chose not to check it. You know, there's footage of that. But niggas is kind of like, bro, we fuck with you, but this shit you got going on, we can't fuck with it. We got an image to uphold as well. Man, I feel bad for King Combs and Justin Combs, man. You know, oh no, bro! If King Combs is a talented uh, artist. You're a talented artist. You've been doing the thing. They was participating. And you don't think his son did. was in a freak off? Come on, yo, why? Come on, stop it, bro. Oh, uh, you definitely so definitely in a freak off. That's a fact. You think his sons was in a freak off? That's a fact. You want to bet? So- got, you know what? I can bet and deliver you um, a guess that'll be worth you losing the bet. You don't have a problem interviewing a transgender, do you? Wait, 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 hold on. What are you, what are you alluding to right now, Wack? I'm just saying, bro. I got the content. His sons wasn't in no freak off. Everybody know, you know. Do uh, you um, want um, back? Do you want back? Oh man, I'm not. I'm not about to bet with you, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, hold on. Look. So, 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 you know, I get better. I got a better chance of just asking you, yo, act loan me this because you won't never bet me, bro. Yeah, because you be having some slicks. Hey, 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 yo, so I I was talking to everybody about this. So, here's a plan that I think they got going on, right? 
I think they're about to start squeezing Diddy. No Diddy. Like, I mean, in the sense of they're going to try to get him financially really bogged down, right? With this type of shit, no company is going to do no business with him, right? Keep in mind, he lost all the liquor stuff. He probably getting some money off some pub for, for music, but okay, how much could that be? Now, how is he going to support Revolt? Because ain't no companies going to keep, I don't care if he stepped down, which he did step down. Those companies ain't going to keep pledging advertisement dollars because Revolt, unless it changes the name or gets sold, he's still the face of it, whether he's standing next to it or not. So do you think that Diddy's going to have to do or or start planning for these moves that it feel like he might not be financially as well off as he used to be? Because I do he's think he's not gonna be, bro. Let's be real, right? He lost fifty million a year with the liquor, four point two a, 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 a month, right? He yeah. lost that. We vote. He lost that. Um, the clothes got pulled. He lost that. Um, uh, his uh, his album felt that you know ain't there. He gave them people back a lot of their publishing and all that shit. He lost that. Um, what else? Oh, TV. They shot a full. Reality showing him and his family for Hulu. They shelved it. They, they hate the cost, right? So Diddy probably all his parties and shit like that that he was getting uh, booked to do, you know, on the side and all that shit through his endorsements, all that, all that's gone. Diddy probably lost somewhere around eighty to a hundred million a year just his income coming in, right? Mm. What he does have over there is the money he's made, put up and stacked. Now let's hope. Let's hope he's made some smart investments. Maybe, you know, uh, did like Floyd did and skyscraper companies and some shit like that. There's hope. But he should have already downsized at least 40, 50% already. Straight up. New York should have been gone. He should have just rested in Miami and, and Cali, right? One of them three needs to be gone. Spotted in Bahamas. He got a spot in Bahamas. It's crazy. You know, at least two of the four needed to go out of here. Damn. Right? Because it's not coming in. Let's just be real. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm still saying that he's making a shit ton of money anyway, man. Like, like, where? Like, making I'm, it where? Making it not from music. Off of publishing. Not from the liquor. He owned everybody uh, publishing. No, he didn't. He gave it all back. He gave he gave back the publishing. They don't make no money back. He gave, all of the publishing that make money, he still own those people dead. Well, who are you talking about? Biggie. He don't. No, no. Are you wait, wait, slow down, bro. I'm tired of y'all doing this. Yo, sis, I hope you don't get mad at me, but I'm gonna do this. Hey, bro, have you noticed that Faith Evans have never missed a beat, and she very seldom does tours and drops the albums? Nigga, did you forget that's his fucking wife? Yeah, but but does that mean she owns all of his publishing? Because no, when, listen, because listen. when Biggie was alive, it, it was deal, rumored that that pub deal only lasts so long. When it recoup is always a, 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 a deadline to it, bro. Biggie been dead twenty fucking what six seven years. Okay, and pub deals ain't no motherfucking lifetime. Nigga might get hit ten fifteen years. He might even you know until you recoup, but bro. Them shits ain't lifetime, bro. Mm. Unless he buys it outright. I heard be if on he part of his pub. Deal, if he does a pub deal, usually you read, you go do a five million dollar pub deal to say, okay, three years or five years, or recoup. If it recoups before three years, then let it go on the fourth year. Shit like that. Hmm. But yeah. if you buy a nigga outright, that means you spend some serious money. I always heard that B B Biggie uh, or Biggie's family never owned more than like twenty to thirty percent of the pub, and the rest was owned by Diddy. Diddy's known for doing seventy thirties, but it's not a lifetime thing. It's a signing thing. Mm, okay. So after a certain amount, it would return to him. It returned to him, just like Dr. Dre. Right? When Snoop Dogg brought the Death Row catalog. It was a Death Row catalog, but it wasn't what it was. That year, Dr. Drake got his shit back after 20, 25 years. Tupac and Stays got their shit back. 85% of the catalog was gone. 
because of Dr. Dre and Pac shit went back to the to them or their state. Really? Yeah. When Snoop brought it, that wasn't there. That wasn't the catalog that was making twelve million a year. It went probably down to probably like two, three men. It was a great move for Snoop because Snoop now owns his masters in mm. a death row name. But Dre shit finally went back to him after the twenty or so years. You know what I mean? They went back to him. Not Why you think they're able to do, you know, certain shit now? Dre's able to do Z watch. He's gonna remaster and release shit. You're gonna see all kind of shit going on. That makes sense. And we could make some light bets if you want. What is the likelihood that you think that Diddy will have handcuffs on by the end of the year? He's definitely gonna have handcuffs on. Now will they hold him and will he be allowed to uh be released to come and fight his case from the street? That's gonna depend on if he's playing on the run games right now. See, that's the difference. If they think he's trying to uh, evade them, they will, they going to label him a flight risk and he will not be able to fight that case from the streets. Mm. I'm telling you that right now. That's the pro and con to this shit. So I hope for his sake, if he's making a move, he got away. Because if he didn't, he going to regret that shit. And when he can't be here, all his financial people, all, all, that, all that shit is going to start falling by the wayside. It takes for Diddy to be here for his motherfucking boat to float. Mm. The, hey, I'm watching a live of somebody being outside of his L.A. house. They still have that thing caution taped uh, um, wrapped around that nobody could get in or get out. They're searching it. I'm wondering how long this search is going to take. I know they say 17,000 square foot footage, but, man, what the hell you think they're looking for up in there? Hey, bro, they might be there a couple days. Might be some shit in the ground. They looking for all kind of shit. They not about Cash. to check the ground. What do you think he buried bodies up there? What you talking about? No, bro. Hey, bro, niggas got, niggas got shit in the ground, bro. Niggas got safes. And, 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 nigga, I had a home where at one time had a whole grow house under his swimming pool. You accessed it from inside the house. Tunneled out. Really? I swear to God, bro. Don't under, <laughs> underestimate that fucking ground, bro. You know, you never know. Niggas got That's some Pablo places. Escobar shit. Like, I don't think Diddy on that. Uh, bro, you, didn't you set a house 17,000 square feet? Yeah, they you know did. Star, you, you know what Star Island costs. First house ever went in on Star Island was Shaq's house. I never forget the address. 2626 Star Island. Shit was crazy. Next one, Birdman had a spot over there. Storch him had a spot over there. Storch a Birdman spot, I believe, the same spot. But, um, you know, it's some shit be going on over there, bro. Shit that we don't even think about. You know what I'm saying? You, you think you think Diddy got like a bunker or some shit like that? Uh, I definitely know he has a panic room. He better. Man, you gotta have a panic room. They gotta find it though. Hey, I, 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 I think, I think this is a curse of Ye. You know, Ye basically was saying that he said two people was trying to call him every time some issue came up with with the black community. He said it was Diddy and and, and Meek Mill. Yeah, you know they was trying to call him like they had a, a voice with him, and Ye ain't going for that. You know he respect Diddy, but he don't respect him like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he, you know, and Meek is just Meek. Like, Meek ain't nobody to get like that. You know, I put my more, my last at, uh, um, yeah, it beat the shit out of Meek Mills. <laughs> he whooped what Meek ass. Oh, man. He whooped his ass. Hey, Check this out, man. Hey, 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 hey. I, I knew Diddy was in a little bit of trouble when he wrote that letter. He put it up on his story. This is December 6th. He says, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Hey, Wack, I heard you talk about this before, and don't switch up now. Do you believe that some of these allegations could be coming from some people who back in the day they was with it, but now they're like, fuck it, I'm going to either get a check one way or the other, either all of them. You think all of them? All of them, one hundred percent, are payday, are straight 
plate moves, all of them 100%. And uh, us, our men, we need to learn from this shit because a woman could have one face today and a whole nother face tomorrow. And now you're left there to prove, right? All of them, look, like Cassie, um, she was there 14, 15 years, right? You know, you're not going to tell me. I've seen Cassie out uh, a whole lot of times, Rodeo, out by herself, running around, doing her shit, whatever, right? So, you know, you had time to do something if it was that serious. Um, Cassie got caught fucking the trainer that Diddy was paying for. Okay? Four really? Five. Yeah, this is a fact. You know, this is a fact. She was cheating on Diddy? No way. She was fucking the trainer, bro. That ain't no motherfucking mystery. Why would she cheat on Diddy? Diddy was giving her everything she wanted. I mean, well, you know how it go. It's what it is. Probably wasn't giving her the love, the conversation, the affection that the trainer was. The trainer was broke. Knocked his bitch, right? Next thing you know, Cassie goes up with a GoFundMe up, trying to raise money for the trainer and his company. Next thing you know, here it comes. Mm, that's the dude she ended up marrying, ain't she? Yes. And then when the and then when the money got low, that's when the she money came was with the already lawsuit. low. He was just he was just a trainer. And when he did that, no other celebrities would hire it. Oh, nigga, you didn't fuck and took Diddy's bitch. Yo, let me ask you one question. Why? How come everybody who been partying with Diddy and doing all like you know doing like up on the up and up shit with Diddy? Why none of them came out and said, hey? I don't know what y'all niggas been talking about, but I've been to Mad Diddy parties and I never seen none of that weird shit y'all talk about. Uh, it did. Go look at the last Vlad interview. Game was asked about it and he addressed that. He said, I've been around Diddy millions of times and I've never seen none of it. And not to say it's not happening, I've never seen it. Mm. Game addressed that on the last, the second Vlad interview. Just did another one. Uh-huh. Shout out to Vlad. Please. Yeah, so, you know, he addressed it. But, you know, I think people are don't want to be associated with the party party. They don't mind, Ooh. you know, but it's the party party, you know. They like, bro, I don't even want to be caught up in or considered, you know, I fucked with you like this, we did this, did that, did conducted some business, went out, had a professional dinner, went to live, pulled up with hair a lot of mic. And I went home, but then everybody else gonna say, "Oh, you was with him and lived that night." Uh, how we know you didn't go back to his mansion? You know, so niggas is like, "Yo, we over here." Because hey. regards to what we say or don't say, it ain't gonna help you anyway. Hey, um, so ABC News is reporting. They said dozens of of HSI agents were seen searching through the property. They brought out a ton of boxes, and they were even looking through cushions. In outdoor pool furniture, what you think they're looking for, for in the cushions? Co- they're looking bro, through the they cushions. Looking, they look, bro. They looking for hard drives, photos, videos, drugs. The drugs that may have been described, you know, by the producer dude. Yeah, but if, if, even if you find drugs in that big of a house, you can't pin that on Diddy. It's a million people that live damn. there. Bro, that's his house. Yeah, but there's a million people that come in and out of it. That's his house. Yeah, but that's a weak ass charge. So you know that. That bro, bro, it's not a weak charge because if they collaborate, what kind of drugs you say you, you was laced with? You was oh okay, right? Okay. And they find that you know they it's just called building a case, bro. I think some of the people is capping. I don't think Diddy was was spiking no drinks. Like, why would Diddy have to do all that shit? Uh, I don't know, bro. I mean, what, what we do know is people have been known to do it. Whether Diddy did it, I can't say that. Um, you know, I, I personally have never heard anybody say that. Um, I don't think, I personally don't think Diddy would have been that stupid to be a man that had ownership of a liquor and to be doing that to liquor. So yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't. You ask me, I don't believe it. But everybody's truth is a truth. And so, you know what I mean. You don't ever believe me when I tell you shit till I show it to you. Hey, 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 hey could you, could you co-sign this with me? I think you know Drake, my 